What's up YouTube? Today I got this 2014 Ford Escape with the 1.6 liter EcoBoost. I'm going to be doing spark plugs on this today, just a general maintenance tune-up. I'm pretty sure it's 100 to 120 K is when it's due. And it's going to be platinum plugs. I always use Motorcraft. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so I can to make videos like this to make your life easier. Let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to do is pull up on this cover. There's no bolts on it. Get out of your way. And you're gonna pull these little clips back, little locking clips, and just push down on them. Unplug your coils. Just kind of lean that out of your way. Now, these coils have two eight millimeter bolts on each coil. Why they they needed to use two bolts, I don't know, but whatever. I don't build them, I fix them. See if we can get that. Oh yeah, yeah, it's barely. Engine's way up under that cow, the wiper cow. Just pull up on your coil, and it will flex. Just like that. A lot of people think you have to take this cow off to tune these engines up. You don't. Now all these coils are the same, so it doesn't really matter. You don't need to note the position. push back on that boot, the intake boot. You don't have to take it off. Oh, this coil's not want to come off the plug. Come on now, don't fight me. There you go. Come on, baby. Come out. Alright. Yeah, let's push back on that. It'll flex for that number four coil. All right, grab you a 5.8 spark plug socket. I have this little set right here that have the extensions already built onto them. And the magnet inside of them that catches the plug. But this magnet's messed up on this one. i got to warranty these out. So i got my little antenna magnets right there for that purpose. It's always like that. One's a little too long. One's a little too short. Let's see. Oh, man. Just barely on that plug. So, follow me back into the shop to get an adapter or a small extension. Just when I think I have everything prepared, something fell out of my pocket, it was just a box. Go to the toolbox here. That might do it right there. A little one incher. Yeah, I just replaced the computer in that bad boy. No power to the fuel pump. The computer powers the fuel pump. It's fixed. It's been sitting there for a month. I've been waiting for a computer to be shipped for a month. Why is that acting like it's not getting on the plug? Oh. What the heck? What's going on here? Hmm. 
Let's see something here. Okay. What's the dealio, Emilio? Oh, that's why. Because they're at an angle. And that's still not enough extension. Crap. Well, we ain't giving up. Follow me back in the shop again. We're going to finish this video. Let me go to my messy roll car here. It's been a busy Saturday. Got a lot of work today. Let's try this extension. The tools get cleaned up later. When I'm all done with my work, money first, clean later. All right, let's try this again. So what we're gonna do this time, we're gonna lose the stubby and get on that plug. Yeah, it's at an angle. Let's see if I can get my electric ratchet on there. All right. Notice my socket didn't pull it out. And Mako was here yesterday and I meant to tell him and I forgot. Let's try the smaller magnet. Come on, baby. Where you at? That angle, though. Wow. How annoying. Make sure I unthreaded it all the way. I'm pretty sure I did. Try this again. Farley's a stronger magnet. Come on, you little booger. Wow. Where you at? messing with me. Oh, I thought I was on it. Darn it. Let's move on to another plug. Get on there. Jesus. It's because I'm using a swivel socket. Man, it's flopping around there like a fish. Oh, let's try this again. That, that angle they put them at, it's retarded. Part of my French. Um, only if that magnet in there was working, I wouldn't be dealing with all this crap. Okay. Come on. Alright. Plan B, you little shit.
being careful not to drop that a little see that and take the spring out too see that little trick That's an old school trick, fellas. All right. Get on there, fool. doing that where'd that boot go uh, I think leaning over his car is cutting my oxygen supply up to my brain there it is uh, all right get on there you can feel when it catches all right. last but not least Stick that down there first. Come on, baby. Get on there. I'm going to push that boot out of my way. That's what's hindering me. I'm on it. Okay. It's a little tighter right here. Let's pull your extension off first. Pull it up enough to get that other extension off. Depending on what combination you're using. Come on, baby. All right. That one a little deeper down in there. So I'm going to grab my coil and push it down in there. Come on, baby. Don't want to damage that boot. All right, she's being stubborn. Go figure. Let me go back in the shop one more time, I promise. Those that watch my videos know I try to do videos outside when I can. If it's nice out, it eliminates background noise. that Y'all probably don't want to hear. Pairs of needling those pliers. This tune-up looks a lot easier than it is. It's for them to put them spark plugs at an angle like that. So I'm real. Alright, let's see if I can get the needle in those pliers. I don't think that plug's unthreaded all the way. That's why it's fighting me. So let's grab our little combination here. Again. Get back on that plug. Take that off first. What the heck? Did I not even loosen that? I guess I'll find out when I rewatch my video. <laughs> like I said, I think my oxygen supply is getting cut off from leaning over this car. Feels real good on your stomach. Yeah, well, I must have not even undid it, y'all. I'm a fool. 
like I said, I'll find out when I watch my video. But we still gonna make this video. Alright, just see. That's why you always compare your plugs. It's either long shank. They sent me the wrong plugs. So I'm gonna cut this video off right now. Go back in there and tell my manager to get me the right shit. Pardon my French. These parts stores. Anyways, I'm gonna cut this off for now. I'll come back to y'all when I get my right plugs. Sorry about that. All right, y'all, I'm back. Sorry about that delay. I finally got the right spark plugs, the long shank style. These parts suppliers are messing up all day today, sending me wrong parts. Anyways, let's get back to business, y'all. This time I grabbed another socket that the spark plug allows you to stay in, so we're going to go ahead and put these down there. Just make sure your gap is right. These are pre-gap. You just want to make sure the electrode ain't bent. Sometimes they get dropped. Let's fish that down in there. This is not a swivel socket. It might make it easier to stack that on top. Oh yeah, that swivel socket was making it a lot more difficult. But that's why I do these videos, because I learn while you learn. Alright, just snug it. Alright, pull your ratchet off. Okay. So we're going to put that down there first. Then stack that on top. Yeah, since it ain't wiggling around, you get right to the point. Sometimes I think I'm prepared for these videos, y'all, but take it easy on me because you're learning why I'm learning, too. I think I've only tuned up, like, maybe one of these, and it's been a while, so you tend you just don't remember everything. All right. Let's refresh your course. Last but not least, the tight one here. Push that back. You ain't gonna break it. That's why it's rubber, it's flexible. All right. Now we put our coils back on. Remember, we pulled that boot off the other coil to fist the plugs out. So let's put that back together. Goes that way. First, you're going to drop your little electrode in there, resistor, whatever you want to call it. Drop your spring back down in there. Get in there. Oh, I'm doing the wrong end, dork. Okay, that's better. Pop that back on so it makes contact. We're going to go ahead and get this hard one over first. Get in there, fool. All right. Boom. We're on that one. down I'll go back in secure your locking tab I just did struts on one of these just yesterday and the struts are a pain in the ass you got to pull the tire wiper cowl off 
<clears throat> that's why we love Ford, y'all. Because that's how we make our money. But not least, <sighs> boy, my stomach's going to be hurting. This is like the third car I've had to lay over today leaning on my chest and stomach alright now uh, make sure all your tools right away the one good thing about this wiper cowl is it's, it's deep and it holds a lot of stuff <laughs> I'm not going to put that cover back on y'all we're going to go in here and fire this bad boy up and make sure it's running right in case there is something wrong, you'll have to take the cover right back off. A couple snap throttles. BMW's so, good and driving? Yeah. You got the ticket for this? No, it's in the shop on my box. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get it started up. Alright. Yeah, this customer's been waiting for like two or three hours and I've kept getting wrong spark plugs. Anyways, please uh, check like, please subscribe. Y'all have a good day. Peace out, YouTube.